Today we're smoking a rack of lamb on the jotisserie on the Big Joe. This is a fantastic holiday meal and really just a great meal any time of the year. Stick around and we'll get into all the details. Hey team, meet Milo, our new Aussie doodle that we just added to the Bartlow's Barbecue family team. He is awesome, he's an Aussie doodle, and you'll see more of him on the channel. Well, we're doing a 10,000 subscriber giveaway, giving away Kamado Joe and a solo stove and a few other goodies. So be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss that. Once we hit that milestone, we're not there yet, uh, we'll do this giveaway, share this with a friend, and be sure to turn on notifications so you don't miss that big giveaway. Thanks for watching. All right, team, before I have lit the charcoal, I put the jotisserie on so that we can kind of get an idea where to put the skewers on. Make sure we put it in the center and we'll adjust it accordingly once we get the rack of lamb on there. But this gives us a really good idea where center is on the rod. And then from here, we'll fire up the Kamado and get this set up and then season and get this rack of land spinning. Let's fire up the Big Joe, setting it up for the Jotisserie. I'm using leftover big block lump charcoal, banking everything to the back. I've got big pieces and small pieces, just enough for a 15 to 20 minute cook using the Grill Blazer Grill Torch to light this bad boy. We'll close the dome first before we set up the Jotisserie because we want to make sure we get an accurate reading on the dome, setting it up for 400 degrees. Once we reach that desired temperature, then we'll throw the jotisserie on here, plug it in, and uh, we'll get that rack of lamb cooking. So let's fire it up. All right, friends, we have trimmed up all the silver skim off here. I salt brined this with kosher salt for an hour before this. And we've got some great, it's tenderized it really well, you can tell. And then now we're gonna be using olive oil as a binder, using Alfragoni's chimichurri uh, spicy. I'm adding as a base, then I'm gonna add some crushed rosemary, because that's a key ingredient. And then also some mint to this. So again, this is the base. Just adding some rosemary, some mint. Already mix this up. So all we're gonna do is utilize olive oil as the base. All right, team, we're at 400 degrees. Now we're gonna put this spit on here. I like to take this off, put it in its correct position, slide it on, and we are ready to go. Turn it on and get it spinning. And we're gonna let this ride. Uh, I've got the meter plus in there to get to internal temperature of about 129, 130, and then it's gonna have a carryover temperature. Uh, but we'll let this go probably for 15 to 18 minutes. And if we need to make adjustments, we'll do it from there. All right, friends, we have finished up this cook. We let it get to 130. We've been letting it rest off the grill uh, for about five minutes. Um, put on your heat gloves to take it off the jotisserie, but I've already loosened this. Set this aside. Friends, we'll pull this. What I do here show you what this looks like. Looks delicious. We're gonna slice into it. Just like this, we'll come in close, slice it, do a final taste test. Let's slice this bad boy. Oh, it's slicing like butter. All right, final taste test. We topped it off with some chimichurri sauce. It's been going over that open fire on the jotisserie for about 18 minutes. Let it rest for 10. Now it's time to do a taste test. Yes! Man, that slice like butter. It's tender. You're not going to worry about any gamey taste. Whenever you salt brine it, you do it over 
that open fire, it's gonna render out all that fat drippings on the charcoal. And it's just gonna give it a nice, wonderful flavor that you should give a shot. For sure, if you've never done something like this, put it in the comments, let me know what you thought of this cook. That was so delicious. I gotta go back for more. All right, team, that was delicious. Seriously, so flavorful. I got some family inside that I wanna feed and get this to them. Again, fantastic holiday dish for you to consider. It's so tender, it's delicious. And just utilize that chimichurri rub as a base, add some mint and some rosemary to that, and then use some chimichurri at the very end to kind of spread on the meat and it just takes it up a notch. I think this is a great recipe for you to consider. Uh, if you've never done this before, put it in the comments. Let me know what you thought, what stood out to you, what's your favorite way to cook it. And again, from my backyard to yours, less hate, more love, good barbecue. Till next time.